tune in for Patrick Ching's Painting in Paradise. Aloha, I'm Patrick Ching, and thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. In this episode, we look to the forests and the special native birds that live there. Though Hawaii's forest birds come in many different shapes and colors, you can use the same techniques to draw and paint them all. In this episode, we'll focus on one of my favorite Hawaiian honey creepers called the i'iwi. All this when we return on... When I was a kid, I was so excited by birds. I loved discovering new species and trying to draw them. I didn't know it at the time, but almost all of the birds I saw were brought to or introduced to Hawaii from someplace else in the world. The red-headed cardinals came from Brazil, the majiro or white eye from Japan, and the minor birds from India. Later in life, I learned that Hawaii had so many native birds meaning they came to the islands on their own power and successfully established populations here. You can further break down the category of native species into subcategories, one called endemic, meaning they evolved into unique species found nowhere else on earth, and indigenous, meaning they arrived in the islands on their own power but also occur naturally in other parts of the world as well. Though Hawaiian birds were so diverse, many have already become extinct and many more are endangered of becoming extinct. So why are there no native forest birds in the lowland areas? Well, for one, they lost a lot of their native habitat when the forests were cleared for development. But the biggest reason is that they died off of bird diseases that were spread to them by mosquitoes that lived at lower elevations. As a result, our native birds died off in the lowlands and many birds were brought in from other places in the world to fill the void. In the mid-1980s, I observed and painted this pair of po'uli in the upper forests of Maui. By 2004, the last po'uli had died in captivity. A favorite pastime of many people is bird watching. There are still places in the wilds of Hawaii where one can find the rare gems of the forest, our native birds. Hawaii's native forest birds have evolved over millions of years. The Hawaiian honey creepers are thought to have turned into many different species that utilize various sources of food and habitat. Some have short, stout bills for cracking open seeds like the palila, while others have short, sharp bills for catching insects like the elipayo. Still others have evolved long, curved bills for sucking nectar out of tubular flowers like the kawaii akialoa. Its bill was sometimes even longer than the length of its entire body. One of my favorite Hawaiian birds is the scarlet-colored i'iwi. It's known for its bright red feathers that were used extensively in Hawaiian feather work, such as in the making of feathered capes to adorn the ruling chiefs called ali'i. Some of the best places to see i'iwi are in the Koke'e State Park on the island of Kauai, Haleakala Volcano on Maui, and the Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island. Now get your papers, pencils, whatever you want to draw with ready, because when we return, I'll show you how to draw the Hawaiian honey creeper called i'iwi. Aloha, my name is Joni. I grew up and live in Kaneohe. I work with the Conservation Council for Hawaii. This nonprofit organization is over 65 years old, and our mission is to protect native Hawaiian animals, plants, and ecosystems for future generations. Did you know that Hawaii is the endangered species capital of the United States. Many threats to our plants and animals include invasive species, climate change, and neglect. My ancestors relied on these plants and animals for survival. They're in our DNA. So please kukua by volunteering or joining us. Mahalo.
Aloha, so here we are on our forest bird drawing lesson, okay? I'm gonna choose one of my favorite forest birds. It's called the uh, EEVK, and it's like pronounced just like that, EEV. And uh, EEV is a beautiful red, like a scarlet honey creeper, they call it. Uh, it also has a pink or salmon colored bill and feet. So it doesn't have black feet or dark feet like uh, a lot of the forest birds do. All right, so when I form up my EEV, I'm gonna be using a pen so you can see it. You can use a pencil and remember to press softly in your form up stage, right? How are you gonna press? Soft. Softly, okay? I'm gonna put a little oval right there for the head and another bigger oval where the body is gonna be, okay? So just a little oval right there for the head and another bigger oval for the body. Now you can adjust these if you feel like you've made them too big or too small. Now's the time to adjust them. I'll give a nice curved bill like that for the EEV. Okay. And I'm gonna go over this with an even thicker pen later on. Uh, for the tail, you can give like a little thin rectangle right there. Maybe, maybe a little, little bigger on one end. And for the wings, I'll have them right around there, okay? So that's almost a little oval in itself too. Uh, the feet, I'm gonna put a little oval here and then attach it with the long, uh, basically the foot and the toes. And that's where the bird's gonna grab onto a branch or something, okay? Speaking of a branch, I'll give it a little bit of a, uh, a flower. I'm gonna do a, like an ohia lehua. These are the leaves. And here we have um, where the flower emerge from, okay? And we'll have a little bit of pom-pom type tassels for the ohia lehua. So you see that I formed up the bird and I'm gonna give him a little mop or eyeball over there. Well, it looks like a pretty good size EEV to me. So I'll uh, start to get a bigger pen and do the outlines and the details, okay? I'm gonna use this right here as my guide. I don't have to follow these lines exactly. And now I'm gonna actually do the actual shape of the bird using this as a guide kind of swooping the head to the top of the body okay I'll make the tail come a little bit in front i'm gonna have a little bit of feathers coming in front of the tail and for the wing i'm gonna have a little pointed wing over there but i'm also gonna bring in some other feathers like this when I go around the top of the body swooping the top of the body okay just like that I'll have some other feathers and some kind of thin lines here for these long what they call the primary feathers you know that he Eevee he's tucking his wings in it's kind of like our arm you know it's tucked like that and Okay, so that's what he's doing over there. He's folding his wing. I tell you what, I'll draw another one up there flying so you can see how it looks when he whoo, opens his wings, okay? Uh, but first, I'm gonna give a little bit of a line where I want the leg to come out of, make it nice and thin, a couple of toes and a back toe. I think I'll put another little foot over there, a couple of toes. And give my Eevee a nice little branch to live on. Alright. So you can make this branch anything you want. You can make these flowers any type you want. Okay. I did the Ohia Lehua. And those are their young leaves. Aliko. Flower pods. They're opening up to this pom-pom tassel. Okay, we're gonna put the maka or the eyeball right around there and maybe a little line between the bee. A little bit of jagged jagged there. I like to leave a little glint in the eye. A little white 
spot within the dark eye like that. If you want to start to describe some of the cheek area, you know, you can do a bit, little bit like that and a little check, 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 check like that. Maybe another chin area there, you know. And there you have a Hawaiian honey creeper called the EEV. Now I did tell you I was going to make one flying so you can see how they are when they open up their wings, yeah? I tell you what, I'll form up a little EEV over there flying, kind of a body, a head, a beak like that. And now I'm going to use about one, two, three ovals, okay? For the wings. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and the tail. I'll open up the tail a little bit over there. And now with my larger pen, I'll go and shape this flying Eevee's body. And when it comes to the wing, still not quite wide open. Primary feathers. Wide open tail. Tell you what, I'll put the hint of a little feet over there. There's Maka. A little bit of cheek, and this one can be flying off, okay? All right, so I got one bird over here sucking the nectar of the Ohiolehua blossom. And when you want to shade this EEV, you can go and maybe put a little bit of a darker shadows on the bottom part where the sun's not hitting. You can have a little line in the legs like that. Okay. Put a little darker part. Now, also the EEV's feathers, they're black. The tail is black and the feathers are black. So if you want to shade them a little bit you can go ahead and tell the viewers that yeah these wings are black they're dark you can use a pencil or paint with that uh, beautiful light salmon color but here's a little simple drawing technique on how to draw our EEVs and soon I'll show you how I color them with paint when we return, I'll show you how I go about painting an EEV. I'm Patrick Ching. If you want to become a really good painter and do it quickly, let me teach you with my Painting Nature DVD. This two DVD set contains my most important artistic insights and all the techniques I use to create my most intricate paintings. In the first DVD, you'll see how I do a fairly complex painting from start to finish. In the second DVD, you can sit in on one of my painting workshops. Beginners as well as professionals can benefit from these lessons. My Painting Nature DVD is the best investment I can think of for anyone who wants to dramatically increase their artistic skills or even become a professional. It's just changed my life. I didn't know I loved to paint until I actually took my first class. Patrick is such a wonderful teacher. It's real fun, really. I advise anyone to ever do it. Just once in a life, right? You're an amazing artist, even if you don't know it yet. I can't wait to help you bring out your best on canvas. You can get my Painting Nature DVD at Patrick Ching Art Gallery in the Princeville Center or online at patrickchingart.com.
so proud of you guys and I'm so happy for Mrs. Wines and the class that they got to participate in this project. You know, Mahalo. Mahalo everybody. All right, so I'm going to start painting a Hawaiian forest bird called the EEV. I'm going to form up my bird and I'm going to do a base coat. You ever hear me joke about a crime scene bird? You know, it's just like a flat bird. I just am interested in its shape and its outer outline. And so therefore, I'm gonna start with just a red shape. I'm gonna get the base coat of my bird down there and my flower. I'm gonna dry that and come back and paint the details in it, okay? So you can just kind of watch and hang out as I start to redraw my bird with paint. going to have uh, some wings and the wings are black on the EEV so I'll be painting those wings black deciding where I'm going to put them and in the meantime I'm painting everything else red and for the EEV it's a pretty much a bright red the EEV is kind of like scarlet you know like the scarlet letter or something or want to turn your page if it helps with the curve of your hand go ahead and do it okay that's that's why I turn my pictures So now I'm going to continue the painting of this EEV. I've just got one layer down there. The paint is dry. Everything's just kind of blocked in. It tells me, you know, where things are going to go if I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay, I'll start painting. Okay. But learn how the bird's wings work. How they unfold their primary feathers like my fingers. How they tuck. You know, what's the shoulder. And now 
I'm gonna do a little bit of work around the maca. You know what the maca is? Oh. Of course, you know what the maca is. The maca is the maca, the eye. Yes. There you have a Hawaiian forest bird. Okay, let's review how we built this forest bird. We first uh, put the background down on the painting and laid things out with one layer. Some of this stuff still has one layer. We basically got the shape of the bird, dried it, painted that bird entirely again. I started with the tail and the wings. They were black and then I put blue reflections on top reflecting the color of the sky. Uh, did the feathers in the wings and tail then went on to the body I basically painted that body fully red then started to put shade under the parts where it's not getting hit by the light and remember I didn't put the shade at the very bottom the darkest I made it almost to the bottom the darkest and showed a little bit of reflective light on that bird's chest I went and formed the eye with that yellow ring around it and the black dark eye for the beak and the feet, I started with a salmon color. Remember that white, orangey, red color, a salmon color? Uh, got a little bit of the dark salmon color, more reddish in there. And finished off with some lighter or even white highlights to make it look more round. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this flower. And then I'll start working on my plants. But that right there is the lesson of the... the Hawaiian honey creeper called the Iivi. You can use the lessons you learned on the Iivi to adjust to other Hawaiian forest birds or any birds in the world actually, no matter what color their feet or their feathers are. By the way, feathers, they're called plumage. Um, and all these different birds have different kind of feathers and plumage. And I tell you what, you can even go and make up your own bird, okay? I, I love making up birds. Sometimes I do it in my sleep. Anyway, it's been a pleasure working on this EEV Hawaiian forest bird with you. I'm going to keep painting and you should too. Aloha. So when I go to the forest, I'm like mimic man, you know, I, I listen for the birds, I decipher their sounds, I replay it to them like this. Well, thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. I hope you had a great time painting the Eevee bird. If you want to show me what you did, I'd love to see it. Just email patrick at patrickteachingart.com. Aloha. Showers come
Editor, if you can just make all that look good, <laughs> okay?